So, uh, as you guys can see, I have acquired this Frankenstein, as you will call it. Um, this specific case, um, and I'll kind of turn it around here. It's from Antec. Uh, they made a couple different variations of this case. Uh, I know some of them came with just a solid cover right here. Some even came with like a window. Some came with a door, without a door. But I've got this guy and I'm actually going to be converting this into a NAS or server case. Um, I've got four different, or I've got two drive slots and I have the ability to put three hard drives in each one if I really want to. Um, the thing I really like about these is you can actually pull them out. Now, I just got this thing. I haven't even cleaned it up yet. So, if you guys actually take a look, it's in horrible condition. Uh, it has these fans that you can actually attach to the actual cage itself. And this thing was extremely dirty. By the way, I don't know if I said this, but I got this at a pawn shop for 40 bucks. And I don't even think they really knew what it was. But I'm actually going to be, like I said, I'm going to convert it into a NAS and uh, throw some hard drives in here. But I can actually take uh, the hard drive from down there, or the, I cannot talk, the fan from up there, there, I can't talk. I can take the fan from there, put it in this one, remove the floppy disk tray, because I'm going to get some front panel uh, some different front panels like I'm gonna get a UHS card reader um, or UHS 2 card reader I'm gonna get USB 3 for the front maybe even some removable hot swap drive caddies for the front and um, I don't know what else maybe I'll put like some temperature displays or fan controls I don't know so yeah uh, this is a, a really really cool uh, set up here. Um, I like this because it has tons of room that you can add stuff and it has the front ventilation and the back ventilation to move air through it to cool the hard drives. So yeah, if this is a yeah, it was a AMD Athlon 2 X4 635 quad core and it's at I think it's at 2.9 yeah, 2.9 gigahertz. So yeah, it's a really good um, setup I'm going to have for a NAS and uh, just a kind of a, you know, throw around, well not really a throw around server because it's going to be uh, staying in one spot, but so they've got some interesting things in here. Uh, they added a USB 3.0 card to the back and they also added a sound card, which I'm assuming the only reason they added a sound card is Maybe they were getting a lot of noise from the onboard sound. Um, and then they also added a whole bunch of USB uh, ports. Because I'm assuming they liked it for whatever reason. But yeah, what I like, um, it doesn't have the m most SATA ports that I've seen on a motherboard. But it has five SATA ports. And I can use one for the OS and then the other four for hard drives. So it even has IDE if I wanted to get real retro and maybe add something I don't know I think the biggest IDE you can actually get or at least the biggest I've seen was a terabyte maybe so um yeah that's pretty much it for now I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up I'm actually gonna remove everything from it and actually spray this thing down this is gonna be a couple day project uh, just because of work and actually getting everything sorted together so yeah, that's um pretty much it for now. Once I uh, get this thing cleaned up, I'll show you guys after after this part. Okay, I've got it all cleaned up now and as you can see I've got the hard drives in and it has a four terabyte on the top 
uh, one terabyte there's an SSD in the back and then I'm going to I have it on order I'm gonna put a three terabyte hard drive right there so uh, I know it's kind of weird because I have a four a three and a one but there's a reasoning to my madness so um, it's got eight gigs of RAM I don't know if I had said that before in the previous videos it's a AMD processor uh, I tried my best with the wire management but this case is not designed for wire management but I did the best that I could and I, I drilled some holes in the motherboard just to get some of it out of the way um, I the only thing I can really show you is that I did clean up the fans uh, as best as I could uh, I used actually what I used for it is a pine saw and a toothbrush because they were super super dirty and then I re-oiled them with some 3-in-1 oil um, and then I'm also going to get a front header uh, SD card reader for this guy or the for that yes does that make sense whatever um, yeah it's a it's a going to be a combo UHS reader plus it's going to have a USB 3 port on the front um, even though I use my iPad for most everything this is going to be a redundant system so that um, you know just in case I need to back up a SD card or whatever and then I can and then of course it's going to serve and back up all of our files so uh, I've had you know versions of some stuff like this in the past but I wanted to have something that was expandable because I may in the future even add another hard drive to it uh, just to have a, a very good backup system in place uh, what I eventually want to do is actually add a a sliding hot swap drive in the front so that I can swap out a hard drive um, you know on the fly um, but yeah there it is I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all plugged in um, so that you guys can hear it actually I think I'll do that right now I'll go ahead and uh, plug it in so it is plugged in I'm gonna power it on and I'll let you guys take a listen to it <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's a little loud, but, you know, because I've got two fans in the front, i got two fans in the back, and, I mean, they're sucking a lot of air. I don't know if my microphone will pick that up, but it's a lot of air. So, yeah, because I really want to keep these hard drives cool, and, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to get this thing all set up, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this random thrown together video.